Today is a plant shopping and thrifting for planty things day. I am so looking forward to it. It's a beautiful day here in Charlotte, North Carolina. I am in the Ballantyne area right now and I'm going to visit a Pikes greenhouse. Haven't been here in forever. And if you have a Pikes greenhouse around you because they have a lot of locations, it's worth checking out. They always have a fabulous indoor plant section. I can always find a good deal or a cool rare plant that I haven't seen before. And they also have a terrific outdoor section because we are coming into the summer and spring growing months and outdoor plants definitely deserve to be appreciated as well as our beautiful indoor plants. And then I'm going to Goodwill and I really need to get some pots and some baskets. I'm always surprised what I can find at Goodwill. I always like the funky stuff too. And Goodwill always has things that I can't find anywhere else. So thank you for joining me and plant shopping with me today and looking for cool thrift finds. If you're new, welcome. My name is Ashley and I'm a crazy plant lady and proud. So if that brings a smile to your face, make sure to subscribe. That way episodes will show up in your newsfeed and we also have a terrific community on Instagram. Quick side note, we all know how expensive plants are and I feel like with groceries alone, with how expensive they are these days, plus all of my monthly bills, I feel like all my money is gone and spent before I even like have a chance to look at it at the end of the day. So a huge thank you to Rocket Money for sponsoring this video. Rocket Money is an all-in-one finance platform that helps you save more and spend less. The personal finance manager allows you to manage your subscriptions, lower your bills, even monitor your credit score and increase your savings all in one place. First of all was canceling unwanted subscriptions. I couldn't believe all of the subscriptions that I had and how much they added up to. Also a no brainer is that they will actually negotiate and lower your bills for you. So you just upload a photograph and they'll take care of it. And Rocket Money having a complete view of my finances helped me set a budget that made sense for me. Now of course we're all going to be super particular about who we share our financial information with and Rocket Money is trusted by over 3.4 million members. So to try it out for free and unlock more features with premium, head to rocketmoney.com slash plantlife or click the link in the description. All right, I'm here at Pikes. Let's go do some shopping and then check out some Goodwills. And I always share my haul at the end of the episode. I see a lot of wonderful plants. So just going to jump right into it. Wow, look at all of these. It's interesting how they have them broken out into sections. So this is the lower light tolerant houseplant section. And they have some absolutely beautiful snake plants here. Not sure of what variety this is, but it has a really gorgeous yellow hue to it. And then we have one of the favorites, Aglionemas. They have so many amazing varieties of these Aglionemas. I love how minty green these leaves are with like the nice little splashes of green. So beautiful. Let's see how much these guys are. Okay, 19. 19 for these Aglionemas. These are 19 as well. Have some more snake plants over here. Looks like they have some moonshine. Okay, 19. Sansevieria fernwood. Look at this spiky little fella. Absolutely beautiful. And this is Sansevieria xylanica. Now I know Sansevieria have been reclassified as Dracaena. However, here they're still labeled Sansevieria. Look at these. Yeah, this one's really pretty. I wonder what kind this is. Definitely leave in the comments if you know. They have some huge ones too. These, these really, really massive ones are 119. And they have some good sized money trees kind of hanging out over here. <laughs> Look how cute that is with the little stump. Ah, how beautiful. This one looks like maybe a Rojo Congo or a Red Imperial. Yes, it's a Rojo Congo, $50. Beautiful plant. I have one of these in my house and it is putting out a new leaf every week, it seems like. I got mine on super sale at a big box shop. Beautiful, beautiful. 
some more aglionemas, really big ZZ plant. The world's, one of the world's easiest plants if you're looking for an easy plant. This one's really pretty. Look at those wide leaves. Imperial green, 49. Looks like this one has put out some flowers as well. That's a real stunner. What is this one? Philo Congo green. Imperial green, Congo green. Very interesting. This huge CZ is 120. And then we have some smaller ones here. They are 40. Ooh, looks like these are some of the Costa Farms chameleon ZZs. They have them here as 29 really lovely you don't see these around as much on the market so if you're looking for one you can find them here some more ZZ plants Ooh, I think this is a philodendron prince of orange look how huge and lush it is absolutely beautiful <gasps> this is a really gorgeous one of these plants I just love them I've heard them called peacock plant Setenti. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Let's see how much this one is. I love mine that I have of this. This one's $40, $39 for this huge, gorgeous plant. I love the variegation of these leaves. Again, I can't express how easy these plants are to take care of. Absolutely lovely. Calathea mosaica. We have like all the Calathea varieties, and these are labeled as the for medium light plants. Absolutely lovely rattlesnake calatheas here, stromanthes over here, peace lilies. Popping over to the succulent section, and they have some. Ooh, I think this one's fire sticks. Oh my gosh, I was just here and I saw a plant over there but there are people over there <gasps> oh is that what i think it is oh my gosh i have to run over there oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my gosh just trying to play cool trying to play cool trying to play cool <gasps> oh my goodness <sighs> try not to freak out in the store ashley try not to freak out in the store <gasps> look at this oh my gosh it's a beautiful variegated, variegated alocasia. Let's see. Adoro. Alocasia Adoro. <gasps> How much? I would buy this in a second. <gasps> oh, it's $200. The biggest bummer of my life. <laughs> beautiful this is oh and it looks like there's a few plants in here too it's not just the one plant looks like there's maybe one two three plants in there so you could split it if you wanted to new leaf oh my gosh would you guys get it for two hundred dollars oh. oh my gosh Deep breath. Oh, there's so many great plants. Oh, I'm shocked to see this plant here. This is like the only time I've ever seen this in the Charlotte market. That's crazy. Crazy. <laughs> All right. Dang, pikes, get it. Okay, we have some purple sword, $16.99. If these start to come on the market, I'll be a happy lady. Painted ladies. Ooh, some nice sized ones. 59 for the large size painted ladies beautiful they have the begonias over here the begonia maculata whitey eyes 24 <gasps> oh they have a uh, a mickey mouse alocasia this is actually a xanthosoma i think 49 look at this little cutie oh my goodness I've had two of these and I just couldn't deal with the spider mites. Look at this massive Sissus discolor. 54 for the Sissus. Ooh, that's a good deal on a plant that size. 54. I love Sissus discolor. They're such cool plants. Look 
at the purple on the leaves. My goodness, I just can't keep up with the water that they need. Maybe I'll give it another go. I do really like that one. Oh, what else do we have? Alocasia cupria over here, 24. Such a beautiful alocasia. Ooh, looks like some kind of scandapsis. 10 inch, 159. I'd say exotica, except there's not very much silver on the leaves. It's painted lady. It's a nice size one for 54. Like, look at the size of that leaf. Oh, this is a great plant too. Philodendron Ring of Fire. I have one of these. It's great. It's so easy. It's similar to like Jungle Boogie, which is the solid green, dark green one of these. Or Ring of Fire is the variegated one of these. Um, this is Ring of Fire Gold, so it has that really light color leaves. 39. Ooh, let me fix that exposure. That's a little bit better. Yeah, these are fabulous plants if you're thinking about getting one of those. That's a good deal. Look at this. Um, Gorgeous Silta Picana, 150. Look how massive that is. Wow, Pikes is really outdoing themselves today. I've never seen this many rare plants here before. 15, or uncommon plants. $15 on these Crimson Queen Hoyas. Some more beautiful Alocasia cuprias. Let's just get a close up of this alien plant. So beautiful, mine's dormant right now. So I'm waiting for it to hopefully come back to life. Um, but mine was so great over the summer. Just a beauty. Tons of Raphidophora tetraspermas. Just a, really a lot of these. Um, $24.99. Monstera Deliciosas. Quite a few of these beauties. 19 We have some ivy. Wow, look at the size of this Raphidophora tetrasperma. This is a very fast growing plant. Um, I'm a big fan. And this one's really lush and full. They have some nice sized fiddles. I'm super into fiddly figs. I think they're so beautiful. They're just a classic. Here it shows they like highlight. Just obsessed. Wow, so many alocasia. Look at these alocasia tiny dancer. They're quite large. And they are $19.99. That's a good deal on those. Like, they're really big. Ooh, some more beautiful alocasias. Ooh, looks like they have Zabrina. Alocasia Zabrina with those striped stems. Looking so stunning, $19.99. Wow, I'm just amazed. Oh, look, they have another one of these variegated alocasias. <gasps> the alocasia adoro. Is this one? Yeah, this one is $1.99 as well. Oh, so expensive, but so lush. Supply and demand, you know? Just one of those things, I totally get it. And I mean, you can't deny that this plant is an absolute beauty. I bet that new leaf that's coming out is going to be insane. I love the striped stems of the Alocasia Zabrina. Isn't it so cool? It's just very, very unique. They have some of these uh, high low beauties, caladiums, some more interesting Alocasias. This is an Alocasia, it doesn't say what variety it is, but those kind of arrow shaped leaves are really lovely. And then it looks like a mixture of maybe Polly or Amazonica. Here we have um, the Maharani Alocasia, really great. Just the texture of those leaves alone is really beautiful. Oh, stunning. Oh, they have some Anthurium here. 29, but it says they're on special, so maybe they're discounted. Oh, and the Maharani are 19. Keeping the good time going. Look at these so full, so lush philodendron lichens. They have a ton of them. 
and they are $29.99. I think that's a very fair price um, on these gorgeous micans. They're lush, they're full, it's a fabulous plant. It'll take good care of you. They can kind of handle lower light conditions. Um, so velvety, so lush. Definitely one of my favorite plants, if you can't tell already. Ficus Maclame, $19.99. That's fun. The Ficus Triangularis, $24.99. Yeah, just some great ficus varieties. Altezima here. Some rubber trees. Absolutely lovely, $19. Then some more Anthurium varieties. Some really beautiful pink ones. I am still always have my eye out for the little pigtail ones. I've never seen them except at a botanical garden. Some cute little spider plants. Oh, look at the lizard. Hey, friend. Oh, what a cutie. Oh, he's looking at us. <laughs> look at him. Enjoy your day, sir. Staghorn ferns. I love these little baskets that they're in. The only problem, for lack of a better word, is that the it's all moss, sphagnum moss, which these plants love, but they do dry out quickly being in the moss. So you just want to be cognizant of that. Some more Siltipicana. These are $34.99. These make great hanging basket trailing plants. Then coming into the string of varieties, we have some string of, ooh, these are string of tears. They are very similar to string of pearls, but they just have a slight point on the end. Um, don't see a price on there. Ruby necklace. Uh, Peperomia string of turtles. They look like little turtle shells. So cute. I'm guessing these are all $15 to $20. Yeah, this one's $20 and that's a nice big full pot of that hanging basket. Absolutely lovely. Ooh, they have some bear paws. I don't, I haven't been seeing my favorite little bear paws around that much. Really cool succulent if you can find it. You can usually get a good deal on them. This one's, you know, a couple dollars and they are fuzzy and they look like a paw. They're really cool. You guys know I love them. You can also find variegated ones out and about. Great find. They have some really nice little succulents. This one looks just like a little rose. So beautiful. And they have the Geogenanthus $24.99. A Moonlight Trubii. Ooh, they have do have one pink princess here. I think she's a little thirsty. Has a new leaf coming out, I'm guessing $29? $34.99 on that one. They have some gorgeous Adansonii and some Hartley ferns. Love these, they're so cool. They just die immediately if they're not watered in time. Look how cool they are, $19.99. Some fun ferns. Ooh, look at this one. How neat is that? Silver lace, $19. Such a beauty. Some more fern varieties. Some bird's nest ferns. So cool. Look at this huge jungle boogie. It's literally the coolest plant. I have one of these and I love it. It gives me no trouble. Ooh, look at this gandap, or not gandap, this syngonium. Large size leaves. It must have had a ton of humidity wherever it was growing. Here's another jungle boogie. Love the size of these leaves. This is um, what that other one would look like. The ring of gold would look like this, like the leaf shape once it gets bigger. Polonia repens, 49. This looks like a white stripe, guys. And I found white stripe at Pikes before, let me see. Silver stripe, my bad, silver stripe. $29 for this silver stripe. Oh, it looks like it's uh, mixed in with a standard philodendron um, heteraceum, like a green one. So it's half silver stripe, half heteraceum. But look, and they have uh, another one up there. $29, come get it, that's a freaking steal. They also have Brazil. Ooh, they have um, a beautiful Maranta up there. And Skindapsis. Oh my gosh, I was just in their like outdoor section. And they have some cast iron plants. But I noticed this kind. I was like, oh, that's kind of cool looking and it's a variegated cast iron plant. Like they have some here, I don't, I think they're not on purpose, 
Oh, this one does say variegated. Oh, that's cool. I've never seen a variegated cast iron plant before. How much? 20 bucks? That's really cool. So if you like cast iron plants, they have some variegated ones. Interesting. Ooh, so this is like the philodendron section. Um, um, amongst other things, pothos and, but I just saw these beautiful fuzzy petiole philodendron. Such a great plant. Um, you just want to keep an eye out for spider mites, so maybe treat it proactively when you bring it home with either neem or insecticidal soap, wash off those leaves. $19.99. They also have a lot of Monstera Peru here. I mean, these leaves are so massive, it almost looks like a different variety than that. But it says that they're Green Galaxy. They're the Costa Farm Trending Tropical uh, ones. They're 24. Hmm. Maybe they're not Peru. Maybe they're another Monstera variety. Let me know in the comments. Then we have beautiful, beautiful philodendrons. They're so lush and so green. Moonlight variety. Oh! Are these Prince of Orange? Yes, they are, 19. Some cute little Birkins over here. We have Brazil, Neon Pothos, maybe an Enjoy or Pearls and Jade, um, Marble Queen Pothos. Oh, they have some Xanthosoma down there, probably like 24 bucks. Pretty variegation on that. Ooh, they have some more of those silver stripe up there. Gosh, I think that's the best deal I've ever seen. So good. What else? Uh, here we have some smaller options. Ooh, this piece lily has like a little touch of sport variegation on that leaf. I always seem to find like little sport variegated stuff at Pikes. Like, I think plants get really picked through at big box shops with people looking for sport variegated plants and I'm like probably outing the secret um, and you know I don't think pikes gets picked over as much so I tend to see some sport variegated plants here um, if that's your thing you know pikes is a, a good option Ooh, Mona Lisa lipstick plants so beautiful $8.99 Ooh, you know I love a good lipstick plant what else? A little uh, Calathea Zebrina over here, looking so lovely. They have a few of those. Oh, is this the Brazil or White Stripe? Yeah, Philodendron Brazil. Oh my gosh. Here we go. That's a little bit better. It's so bright in here and quite warm. Ooh, they have. <laughs> Tone it down, Ash. $14.99 for the variegated Hindu rope. Carnosa compacta. That's pretty tempting, I'm not gonna lie. It's so little, like I'd like to get a big one of those, but 15 bucks, such a good deal. These money trees are 12. They have the cute little Alocasia Tiny Dancer. These are $9.99. Some little ponytail palms, $7.99. Alocasia Poly, $9.99. Some carnivorous plants. Some great little ferns, so cute. Nice. Oh, I can't believe I walked past it, but they have this really pretty goldy eye philodendron. So beautiful. And the older this plant gets and the more mature the leaves gets, the more of these they put off. And I have one, but it's very small. All right, this one's $40. Hmm, that's a maybe. Oh, here's another variegated cast iron plant. It just has one leaf with the variegation. So cool. I've just finished at Pikes. I absolutely love the plant that I picked up. And now I'm at Goodwill and I'm just going to visit this one Goodwill and then I'll head home and share my haul with all of you. So let's go do some thrifting. So it looks like they have quite a bit of stuff here. 
really excited to check it out. I noticed this little guy. I'm just gonna point out anything I think that could be like a little plant pot. I think this is really sweet. Has a little rose on there, a little rose on the head. $3.99. They have a lot of furniture here today. Look, look at this chair. Look at that. <laughs> I love it. Ooh, this is also a really interesting piece of furniture. If they, if someone like got this and refinished it. I love the detail of the little squares and even the hardware is pretty cool. Seeing if it's glued. Interesting. There's a little shelf hidden back here that could be a cute little plant shelf. Maybe paint it white or black, whatever color. Um, how much is it? $14.99. Seems kind of pricey. Always a good idea to check out glassware. I always have a million little propagation vessels on hand from things I've uh, thrifted and it's so great for it to give little cuttings to people and a cute little glassware um, when they come over to visit. Wow, look at all the cute little plates. This one has fruit, little saucers, I love it. Aw, these little baileys are would be good little propagation things. You want it to be where the plant won't just like t come out of it or topple out. Wow, there will be more stuff over here. But I thought I would just do a quick look, you know? Gosh, they have so many little plates and things. All right, so here is where they have all of their pots and always check the baskets. There's always great options as far as baskets, but let me see what type of little pots I can find. So here's an example of one, $1.99, mm, maybe. It's kind of basic, like I could get that from Ikea for the same price. Sometimes you can find funky stuff like, look at this cat, $2.99. I'm warning you in advance. Sometimes I like really ugly stuff uh, just because it's so funky and different. I think that's funny. Pretty little basket. Hmm, here's a nice blue one, $2.99. Big candle holder, $1.99. I mean, there's so much stuff you could do with um, with all of this for your plants. You could just get really creative, you know? Look how cute that is. A lot of these things could be cover pots if you didn't want to go to all the trouble of drilling a hole. Look at that. Little Christmas pot. Ooh, I like this pink and white one. $2.99. I just, I have a lot of plants that have pink in them and I think this would be really pretty for them. Still looking. Oh, little elephant. Adorable. Mm. I'll look at all the glassware in a minute because it looks like they have a lot of really nice glassware. Just kind of slowly looking through. This is cool. $3.99. Like, that would be a pretty vase to have. Oh, I kind of like that actually. $3.99 for your flowers? Yeah, I like that. Also, I'm still learning about thrifting as I go. I do tend to stick more towards like plant oriented things, but if you see something that like jumps out at you, um, let me know if it's something I should grab. Pretty $1.99. I wish it didn't have those holes on there. Otherwise, I would definitely get that. I love it. Maybe I'll still get it. It's a maybe. Oh my gosh, cute little bunny rabbit. $2.99 and they have this one there. Let's see what else. Um, they have this orange pot. Like what a vibrant color that is. Oh, look at this teapot. Bear in. I've turned teapots into little um, plant pots. They work great. Little cover pots. Oh, there's another blue one down there. A the utensils thing. Again, you could repurpose a lot of these for your plants. 
That's cool. Really pretty. Hmm. Gosh. Like, side note, if you wanted something like this, like this is heavy duty, good quality, $2.99. Beautiful white. Like, has a label on the bottom. This is nice too, it has a chip. This one doesn't look like there's anything wrong with it. Just a nice casserole dish. <gasps> Maybe I'll get that. Little lions. They always have the cutest little, I don't know, tchotchke, tchotchke items here. different, huh? Hmm. Oh. I do kind of like that. Oh, 99 cents a little kettle. Um, there's so much that it's kind of overwhelming. And sometimes I'll look back on my video and like yell at, you know, past Ashley and think, why didn't I grab it? And a lot of times it's because I didn't see it. It's just really heavy. I think it's supposed to be an apple. Um, there's a little, oh, I already looked at that one. Cute little masks. Oh my gosh. Aww. A lot of times they are um, like signed. You get some nice quality pieces. Look how cute that is. I hate it when the sign is, where it's been signed is covered up with the sticker. I already looked through here. This is a cute little teapot, isn't it? All right, so this is the perfect place to get propagation stuff. I'm actually out. So I'm gonna get a few, like I really like this one. Like how nice is it to give this to somebody? Like here you go, here's some cuttings, $1.99. Ooh, gosh, this one feels like crystal. They say if you tap it, you can tell. $1.99, how cute is that? Okay, a couple of propagation things. Oh, these are nice too. Just have a little bit of color. I feel like you could find good stuff at the Dollar Tree, you know? So I need to keep that in mind while I'm shopping today. Um, it's pretty. Like, and this is so great if you want a little jewelry holder. $3.99 for that one. Wow. This little, um, you could use this as a little saucer for your plants. A fancy saucer. What else we got back here? There's always like stuff hidden around. So I just, oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at those little beer mugs. Oh my goodness, those are so cool. Fabulous Las Vegas, guys. This is pretty twinkling. I like that. It's like a propagation vessel. Wow, look at this. What's this, mom? Oh. Creamy vanilla pumpkin. $2.99. Alright, see what kind of baskets they have. This is interesting. They're usually only a couple of dollars as well, which is a good deal. No, they're baskets are excellent cover pots. I've been thrifting in forever. I forgot how fun it is. <laughs> Especially when I have all of you to like share it with. Hmm. Stuff 
like this always always like a good cover pot idea as well. You know, little, little candle holders. Okay. Oh. Oh, this is really pretty. Three ninety nine. What is it? Is it open? Oh, it's um for a lamp. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. I'm new here. Part of the fun mystery of thrifting is like figuring out what everything is, right? Oh, this would work. Three ninety-nine. Devo. I also think this is pretty. It's not like an antique or anything, but I like it. Ooh, look, $3.99. Man, that's such a rip off, $3.99 for that. But it's so cute. I like the little purple ones. I like the little purple ones, but I don't want to spend four dollars on it. Hmm. These three little pumpkins are cute for fall. Basket. Keeping it going. Hmm. Seeing a lot of these types of um, pots. So if you're into this kind of thing to be a good time to check out your Goodwill. You know, Christmas stuff, like, you know, a lot of Christmassy things you could repurpose for your plants. There you go. Ooh, they have some pretty flowers. I'm at Harris Teeter. I have to pick up some flowers for a vase that I just got from Goodwill. I'm gonna set it up and show all of you. Um, but I just wanted to take a quick peek at their outdoor plants because they have some really nice ones that are kind of different than the ones I kind of always see out and about. These are $12.99, which is a good deal. They're pretty big. And these are $24 for the barrel planters. Look how beautiful, my word. They really are so stunning. Gosh, look at that one. <gasps> wow. All right, I'm back. I'm ready to share my haul. Unfortunately, Claire couldn't go plant shopping with me today. She had eight teeth extracted a few days ago, so I figured she should like take it easy a little bit. And I think she's a little upset with me that I didn't take her. You guys know how much she loves to go shopping. So first up is the plant that I picked out. I absolutely love it. It is the beautiful Alocasia Zabrina. I bet you thought I would have picked up that variegated Alocasia. And I just wasn't sure if $200 was a fair price for that plant. Um, I know I haven't seen another one of those around the Charlotte area, so maybe it is worth $200. If that's the case and you guys think that was a fair price for that plant, I'll just save up and then the next time I see one, I'll pick it up because I would love to have one of those in my collection. Now, I used to have one. It was a very small one that I imported and it wasn't a great import plant. Um, it really struggled with being shipped. So being able to pick one up from a local nursery will make a huge difference. And the fact it was huge, like the one I got shipped was like a tiny two leaf plant. So it was really tempting. So I'm curious to see what all of you think about that. And I'm hoping we're gonna see more of those plants at Pikes or in the Charlotte area. I 
just couldn't believe it. I just couldn't believe it. But anyways, I picked up this beautiful Alocasia Zabrina and they had some great Alocasias, but I'm obsessed with Alocasia Zabrina. I think it's so cool, specifically because of the striped stems. Here you go, you see that? Like, look at those stems. They're so cool, so unique. This plant can get pretty huge. Look at this huge new leaf coming out the center. Now I typically hold off on repotting new plants when I bring them into the house. I like to spray them down with water and insecticidal soap, and I might quarantine them for a little while, but usually that does the trick. Alocasias are just extremely prone to spider mites. So it's not something to be afraid of that I've learned. I just think proactively treating it, spraying it with water, spraying it with insecticidal soap, um, putting some systemic granules in there, and honestly like repotting it is probably a good idea too and then staying on top of just care with these plants like making sure you wash off the leaves and all of that every once in a while um, I know a lot of people have success with dunking the plant um, the leaves and all of that into like a solution with some Dawn dish soap which will kill off the spider mites there's a lot of natural options out there too um, so don't be scared to buy alocasia. Just know that they require a little bit of high maintenance. They're high maintenance queens, but they're worth it because they're so incredibly beautiful. So I'm really excited about this Sabrina and I've decided I'm going to do a care video about alocasias. I haven't done one of those before and I've learned so much about them. They're such great plants, but they do have special humid um, requirements when it comes to humidity and light and pest prevention and all of that. And I think it would be really helpful. So I'm um, keep an eye out for that. What do you guys think? Do you think that would be a good video to do? Now, um, one of the things that I noticed about this plant after I had bought it and I was looking at it today was the fact that it does have some, what looks like a little bit of spore variegation. Look at that. Like even the, I don't know if it will show up on camera so much, but it has like a darker green, a lighter green, and then it has this little white spot. Um, I don't see it on any of the other leaves. So we'll see if the, the new leaf has any of that cool sport variegation going on. Again, I'm like outing the secret that I seem to find a lot of sport variegated stuff at Pike's and not so much at big box shops. So I'm in love with this plant. What do you guys think? It was $19.99 for this nice big, like, you know, big Zabrina. And to me, that was, that was worth it. So I'm going to repot it and put it in a cool pot, um, treat it up. I think I'll save it and, and redo, repot it and everything in the new care video that I'm going to do. Now I also went thrifting. I kind of forgot how much fun it is. So I had a blast. I'm like dying to go again. So I picked up this really cute pink and kind of cream planter. It was $2.99. I think it was a cover pot from a plant purchased from a big box shop, but I love it. I have some really pink plants that would go perfectly in this pot. So I'm just gonna have to pick, pick a plant out. It'll be a cover pot, so I'll put a nursery pot in there. You guys know I'm a cover pot lady. I did pick up some great propagation vessels. First up, I think this one's crystal. It's very glimmery, it's super beautiful, and it was $1.99. So I don't know if I'll keep this and put like a, some little propagation in there or if I'll give it as a gift to somebody with a propagation in there, but it's really beautiful, like so detailed, really, really awesome. I also picked up this one. It says Twinkling. This one too. I think they were all like 99 cents or a dollar. I also purchased that absolutely beautiful vase. I am obsessed with it and I set up some beautiful flowers in it. So I can't believe that was just sitting there for, I think it was three bucks. And I also picked up the most heavy duty gorgeous casserole dish. Um, that thing would cost like $60 from the store and it's just a stunner and it was $2 and it's perfect. There's not anything wrong with it. And I actually needed something like that. So, you know, if you saw anything while I was shopping um, that you would have picked out, definitely let me know. Plant shopping or thrifting. I'm still learning how to thrift and I usually stick with planty stuff, but sometimes I expand out and get other stuff as you all see. Now, if you'd like to see future crazy plant lady videos in your newsfeed, you can subscribe. And we also have a terrific community on Instagram. Okay, everyone, I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. You'll definitely be seeing us soon. Bye.